concede against a player coming through qualification. Just turned 17 a month ago, Furman Abdul, colleague of Indonesia. Yes, and as you can see, the crowd is really having a good time, listening to the music, getting a little bit to drink and eat as we're getting ready for the next final coming up, which is the men's singles. We have the court officials on to court now. on to court, HS Pranoy of India, walking first, and the youngster just turned 17 a month ago. Still an under-17 player and qualified for this tournament on Tuesday. Can you believe that? And he went all the way to the final, and it will be so interesting to see how it goes today. 
Imagine being 22 years old as HS Pranoy is and being by far the most experienced of the two players in court. And the umpire for this match is Sergio Cabrera of the Philippines and the service judge is Osama Adnan of Iraq. There are lots of expectations on the shoulders of this man. Still haven't won a tournament. And what an opportunity he's got here. He's playing against a youngster. Just turned 17, but what a display yesterday he had against the Malaysian. And he is seeded five in this tournament and presently number 43 on the world ranking. His best ranking is 34 and that was actually in March 2014. And yesterday he had a tough match in that semi-final, winning 21-14, losing 21-14 and winning 21-14 in 57 minutes. And to his opponent, as you can see, no seeding, no world ranking. It's actually his first ever senior international tournament. Can you believe that? So far, only played junior tournaments, and he wasn't even selected for the World Junior Championships from Indonesia in 2014. What a remarkable tournament he has had so far. Had to fight really hard in three of his matches, went the full distance. But he survived it well. And yesterday in the semi-final against Sulfatli, Sulkifli of Malaysia, he won 17 and 15 in just 47 minutes. Ready to play. And here confirmation, the umpire, Sergio Cabrera, and the service judge, Osama Adnan of Iraq. for this young man. Playing his first ever international senior tournament and already reaching the final. What a display it's been the whole week. And I've been watching it and following it in the papers as well. And lots and lots of praise for this young man. first round of the tournament. He beat Christy Jonathan, a fellow Indonesian, but uh, someone who was selected for that World Junior Championship and got to the quarterfinal. And he won 17-21, 21-18, 21-18. Ladies and so, gentlemen, on my right, we have a very Panoi interesting match India. in front of us. So and let's see how it goes. On and my the umpire Firman Abdul take us Pauli. away here. Indonesia. German Abdul Khalid deserved. Love all. Play. So very important for Pranoy to keep his cool, play his game, and don't be faced by the situation and the expectations. I'm not thinking so much about the expectations of uh, other people, but I'm much more thinking about his own expectations. Service over. Having a great opportunity One. here to win his first Oil. ever senior international tournament. 
and that obviously will take him a lot further up on the ranking. That's 43 at the moment. Yeah, good attack, good cross court smash by Pranoy. Nervous to start with, very understandable. Smash here by Pranoy. He was actually the runner up in the Vietnam Open just uh, the other week. And so far this year has played 10 tournaments. And the best result was that runners up in Vietnam. 2013, he got to the quarterfinal of Indra Open Super Series and the Thailand Open Grand Prix Gold got to a quarterfinal and in Japan Open in 2013 Super Series, he got to the quarterfinal and beating Janu Jorgensen on the way and Janu Jorgensen today is number three in the world. So what a good win it was for him in Japan Open last year. And just testing the racket as usual. Okay. Very nice gesture between the players. Always just testing the strings and, ten and the tension. To ensure it feels the same as the previous one. Now that's going wide. still hasn't settled completely for these two players still making some odd mistakes now and again and that's the way I think that Pranoy really can put the pressure on the youngster when he's attacking we've already seen it now he's 7-3 yard but every time he's been attacking he's almost scoring with a smash so that's the way to go for Pranoy Go for these smashes. A little bit of a cheeky one there. So 8 3 up, but once again, point scored from hit this smash here and the mistake in the defense. Despair, Fiam and Abdul Kolik. There's still plenty of time to play. And obviously, he would like to have a good first game here. But if not, there's always a chance in the second game. So don't despair, keep playing. Service over for 
well read by Flanoy here, but just a little bit too late, just a fraction, but enough to make sure that that shot didn't go in. Again, the smash seems to be the great weapon here. The junior player is really not used to that kind of power from his opponents and something that will take some time to get used to first. And on that occasion, wrong-footed as well. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, that's much better. Lots of promise in that rally there. And that's why I said earlier, still plenty of time, man. Keep playing because opportunities will arise. Perfect placement of that smash. Good play by Furman Abdul colleague. Hesitation by Pranoy, but that was enough. He made the mistake. 6-10 it is. Desperately unlucky. On that net shot there by Furman. Very, very tight. But decided to stay on his side of the net. And 11 6 down at the mid game interval here. So two coaches to support the youngster, keep the morale up, give him some good advice. And on the other hand, you have a HS Pranoy who's got no coach here. And as I previously stated, I don't think that's a bad idea. Gives an opportunity for the players to think for themselves and really dig deep into the mental side of the game and not having to rely on coaches to tell them what to do, when to do, and all that, so uh, I think that's very good exercise as well. Eleven six play. Service over 12-7. Yeah, Furman really finds it quite difficult to turn quickly enough. Look at this. This is actually third or fourth time the smash is going down to that backhand side and he's still missing it. And it's definitely because he's still too late on it and not used to that kind of power and pace and obviously angle as well. Service over. But H.S. Pranoy hasn't really settled down yet. I still think he's playing some odd mistakes now and again. Not under pressure on that one either.
Not going long in the baseline. But for Anoy, he really knew how important that was. 9-12 or 13-8 up. There's a big difference in the scoreline. And as well, well red and well left by Fenoy. Very important for him and for the Indian fans around the world watching this. on the line. Service over. Very 40. good smash. Nine. And if we get that in slow motion, will we see how far Furman actually was away from that? Pranoy here, 15-9 up. That's one of the things I would like to see uh, about H8 Pranoy. That, that backhand he hit there was actually not necessary. He had plenty of time to get around it, but he chose to play that backhand, and that's a little bit lazy. And if he wants to get all the way up there to top 10 in the world, he needs to add on some more pace and pressure from a situation like that. A nice lift. I don't know if I'm mistaken here, but I think today there's a small drift alongside the court here. And Furman is standing on the fast end of the court. And that's why he's finding it difficult to control it on the baseline. And that's what we saw in the women's doubles as well in the first match. That Kesha and Devi was playing a lot of lift outside on that baseline. Very nicely set up by Pranoy here. Playing a net shot back on that net shot really did the trick. Furman was not anticipating that. That one there, that's a beauty. He should have stayed in and made sure that his opponent would not have been able to play a shot like that. Obviously, the lift was too short and the smash was a formality. See, we had the opposite example here. Furman was trying to play the same, a similar shot, but look at how Prinoy, he was in there waiting for it, waiting to pounce at it, just in case he was coming over. So seven points up, a very good lead. 18-11 here, 19-11, just two points away from securing the first game for HS Pranoy. The number five seed in the tournament from India and number 43 in the world at the moment. And 
once again we saw that lift our sides the baseline let's see if that's changing in the second game coming up very soon got nine game points in total here oh look at that beautiful trickery shot here by HS Pranoy, what a way to win that first game. And a very nice surprise, a shot we haven't seen before in the game, and obviously that's where the surprise come in. You save those kind of shots for the right moments. And confirmation of the score, 21-11 in 17 minutes. And the player is ready to begin this second game. Very comfortable win for Pranoy. 11 first game. But let's see if Furman wants it in any different way in this second, second game. game. Let's see how it goes. And that's what we saw in the first game as well, when Furman was lifting out on the baseline and the very first shot here by Pranoy also going long on that baseline. Beautiful net play by Pranoy. Service Twice, Berman allowed Point. him to play in back of the net, and he should stay in there and should not let his opponent allow to do that. He should not be allowed it. But well played by Pranoy. Uh, good play here. Took it very early. And really added on the pressure here. Took that so early up there. And what a well played shot it was. Happy, very disgusted with himself. And a string broken in the rag racket, I think. Yes, that's correct. And just cutting up the strings to ease the tension for the racket to be reused for another stringing.
So that was the long list between uh, these two points. I think the umpire could have hurried it up a little bit more. Good follow up. Good boy. Tried once again to attack down that ba uh, backhand side, but this time Furman Kulik was ready for it. Not the best of defenses. And that's a nice, nice variation. Perfect. He so often players only play into the tee, but never play wide on their serves. And here we saw such a fine example of it. And it gave a point straight away. Very, very clever by the youngster. And if I'm not mistaken, I think. Prenoy really have to watch out now. Service over. Four, five. As I said in the first game, I think Furman colleague is easing in on this match. He's settling in. First game in the in this first final ever is not an easy task. But here he's already Service having a much, much better start to the second game. Six. And I think Pranoy really have to watch out because this youngster will just get better and better as the match progress. to get the cord wiped. As you can see, the attempt from Furman to get it back on all fours on the floor. And obviously, the perspiration have to be wiped up, and that's why the players are having a break here.
Yeah, lovely idea. Really good idea here by Furman. The touch is letting him down, but it was a very, very good idea. That's the way to play when you get up there in the top 20, 15, 10 in the world. That's what you have to be able to do, is to play these shots back on the net shot. Seven. important this is the small lead just two points but how important it is to have on the pressure on the answer at any given time plays a beautiful net play Furman but sometimes it's letting him down yeah good angle very very good angle and a very important point for him. Closing the gap just to one point. Good pace, very, very good pace by the youngster. And the crowd really gets behind him now. And the great effort he's showing on court is so rewarded by the fans here in the stadium. Fault is called. Yes, the fault is called. Pernoy cannot understand it. So suddenly it's 10 9 for Furman Kulik and not the other way around. Yeah, very, very hard to tell. Suddenly, it's 11-9 for the youngster, the 17-year-old Furman Kulik, Indonesia, going into this mid-game interval with a two-point lead. Once again, we saw the tr trickery shot here, but this time it didn't work for Fernoy, as it did on uh, the game point in the first game. As I said earlier, this match has got a totally different complexion now. The youngster is settling into the match. It's getting used to the occasion. Such a big occasion for a 17-year-old to be in a final of a Grand Prix Gold Tournament.
Yeah, good follow up. Flanoy really have to start attacking here. Trying to close the gap. That's a good smash down the line and a good follow up, but that's what he's got to do. A lot more. He can't just sit back and wait because I think the youngster he will score his points given the opportunity. So Flanoy have to be a lot more proactive as what he is at the moment. 11, Engine fan, there is three very good points here for Pranoy. Trailing 12 9, and now it's back all square 12 all. Yeah, some more urgency is coming into the play of Pranoy here. Setting up a good opportunity. Very, very nice. But that's a lot more pressure into that deep forehand corner of uh, Furman. And then setting up a very good opportunity there. That's a good push down that deep, hand forehand, uh, deep forehand. And then the cross court smash. I'm very tempted to say, as usual. That's called good. Perfect length. So that was ending a four point rush by Planoy. straight down the line and he's opting to go cross court. He chose the most difficult one. And there was a small dispute about changing the shuttle here. Planoy wants to change it, Furman not. And the umpire had to make the decision and he made it in favour of Furman. And that's Service a good smash over. on the line there by Furnoy. And I think we were, we're in for a thrilling, thrilling second game here. 14 all. Will it go the full distance, this match? Will the youngster be able to take it to three games and add on the pressure on the more experienced and top favourite to win? HS Yeah, Furman obviously very happy to play with that shuttle, but this time he was asked to change it by the umpire. So we have a new shuttle. And as always, the new shuttle is the fast shuttle. So Pranoy really have to watch out. He's not lifting it out on that baseline. Yeah. Opting for the body smash. Very, very nice. Change of attack. Setting that one up nicely, but look at this. Had no chance 
Very well played by Pranoy. That's a nice push. Beautiful push. Into that deep forehand corner. So difficult to retrieve. Really well played. It's heating up 16 15. Great support for the youngster, the 17 year old, having all the support from the crowd here at the stadium. Oh, wonderful, wonderful defence here by Pranoy. Furman really had to take the chance, he had to do it, he did the right thing. But so well defended here, look at that. Beautiful defence. And only three points away from victory. Yeah, go for the big smash. Thank you. And suddenly it's a three-point lead and only two points away from victory. 19-16 up. Can Pranoy make his first international win ever? That's it. That's the way to play it. That's beautiful. Play a net shot, back on a net shot. That is differentiating the players of the really good players and the lesser good players. Well played here by Pranoy having four match points, 2016 up. Yeah, good attack here. Personally, I thought he was going to play that cross court, but he opted to go straight, and that was a good option. Still have to save another three. So make it 20 all. It's a tall order for the young man. And he doesn't look like he's lost heart yet. And a little bit of luck here. Got the luck of the net court. So two saved so far. And Brunoy had. He slipped a little bit and asked the umpire to get the court marked. Yes, another one saved. So that three points, three match points saved so far by Furman Kuli. Can he save yet another one? He needs to save this one too to stay in the match. Pranoy definitely feels the pressure now. Oh. And four match points saved by the youngster, by the 17-year-old, still playing under 17 junior tournaments in the world. 
magnificent. Really well played. He had the guts to play that one. And he stayed in for ones and made the kill. And suddenly, once again, extra points required. And that's going wide. And match point number five. For Prinoy. Can he make it? Can he convert this one? Good play down the line. Oh, that clipped the tape. That's good play by a colleague. Perfect rally, and that was it. That was it. Delighted. HS Pranoy winning his first international tournament. The Indonesian Masters 2014 winning in two games against the youngster from Indonesia. Berman Abdul Kulik just turned 17, but what a performance. Coming all the way from the qualification of this tournament to the final, and what a display it was in this second game. And confirmation of the scores in 44, 41 minutes, 21-11, 22-20. Pranoy HS from India, number five seed in the tournament. And here we have the match point. And that was setting it up so nicely, wasn't it? You dare to play the chance. Who dares wins? And what a delight for HS Pinoy and India, and Indian fans. So Indonesia is not running away with all five victories today. India took the men's singles. And the runner-up here, a very, very disappointed young man, Furman Abdul Kolik. But don't despair, young man. I am sure we will see a lot of him in the future. Just turned 17 a month ago. The little, very quick left-hander from Indonesia. We will see a lot of him in the future. And a happy winner, HS Pranoy of India number five seed, the men's singles champion of the Indonesian Masters 2014. Sponsors, Mr. Barry Tamba is handing over the big checks. To 
hand over the flowers. Is Dr. Yan Hadi of the PBSI, the Badminton Association of Indonesia. And a small goodie bag handed over by the beautiful ladies in the traditional dresses from Indonesia. And once again, we will have the traditional pictures taken by uh, all the press people here at the stadium in Palembang, Indonesia. here with a check of 9,000 US dollars and he's got no one to share that with. That's the beauty about playing singles now and again, isn't it? And the next match coming up is the women's singles where we have Adrianti Birasari, number three seed from Indonesia against another junior, only 16 years old this time and that's Ruseli Harawan also from Indonesia unseeded in this tournament 